Buenos dias! In this video we're going to be discussing taxi cab geometry. So our whole goal here is to find distances in a non-Euclidean geometry. What does that mean? We'll discuss that in a second. This begins on page 198. Alright, so um, in the past we've learned that the shortest distance between two points is the length of a straight line segment between them. All right, this is true in Euclidean geometry. All right, so um, there are different types of geometries. The one we're studying is Euclidean. All right, but think about what happens when you are in a city and you wanna get from point A to point B. You can't walk through buildings, all right? So you have to go along the streets. Taxi cab geometry is the non-Euclidean geometry that a taxi cab or a pedestrian must obey. In taxicab geometry, you can travel either horizontally or vertically, parallel to the axes. Um, in this geometry, the distances between two points is the shortest distance or the shortest number of blocks between them. All right. So, on a historical note, uh, Euclid, Euclidean geometry, was named after the Greek mathematician Euclid. All right, and he lived about three centuries before Christ. All right, um, use, he used postulates and deductive reasoning. All right, and that's what math is. Math is a language of reasoning to prove theorems that we study in this book. Uh, Non-Euclidean geometries start by assuming different postulates, so they have different rules and different ideas than we have discussed in this book. So, for example, on um, Another non-Euclidean geometry says, all right, I've got my train tracks. And we know that those train tracks are parallel, but there's also a theorem that says, all right, they actually <laughs> intersect. As you look in the horizon, they disappear and they intersect. So that's just an interesting note. There are different types of geometries, but the one we're looking at today is taxi cab. All right, so a taxi cab different, uh, distance. The distance between two points is going to be the sum of their horizontal um, distances and their vertical distances. So I'm gonna be taking the difference um, between their two coordinates. All right, so I'm going to have this horizontal piece here with my X and this vertical piece. And I'm gonna be taking the difference between them and then the absolute values and adding them together there for my total taxi cab uh, distance. So here in example one, I have um, coordinate A at negative one, five, and coordinate B at four, two. So draw two different paths. You can draw several different paths. Um, as long as I don't go obnoxiously like out of the way, like this path would, I can draw any path I want, all right? So I can go down further and over another block, um, and that would end up with the same exact distance. All right, so um, I'm going to take x2, and it doesn't matter which point I label as x2, um, uh, y2, and which point I label as x1, y1, Typically speaking, uh, point A is going to be our x1, y1, and point, and point B is going to be our x2, y2. So I substitute those in. I then find the differences and take the absolute values, and the shortest path is eight blocks. All right, circles in Euclidean geometry. A circle is all points, is all points um, that are the same distance from a fixed point called the center. That distance is the radius. In taxi cab geometry, however, um, the definition of a circle is not really round. So um, we can't use the exact same idea here, but it is the same distance. All right, so um, if I look here, I have my center at uh, 1, 3, and then I'm looking at a distance of 2. So this is 1, 2 blocks away. This would be 1, 2 blocks away. If I counted um, vertically and then horizontally, it's 1, 2 blocks away. And you can see that it goes 2 blocks away to every single point here, um, no matter which way you go to those points. All right, so that's a circle in taxi cab geometry. It's a got a little bit of a different definition. 
all right but same idea as a regular circle would so here on example 2b with the radius of 1 this one's really easy to see I've got my center at negative 2 4 and the radius of 1 produces only four points the bigger the radius is the more points you are going to be able to find all right so here are your practice problems um, Please feel free to send me an email with questions or take advantage of my live office hours. I would love to hear from you guys, uh, especially if you are struggling or in need or just want to talk. I'm down. All right. Hope to hear from you soon. Bye.